Hi, this is Katie. Sorry about this glare right here. Can you see that? I don't control the sun. Hi, this is Katie, and I am in Salt Lake City, Utah. I actually really like this city. I don't know why. I mean, probably because it has in and out So quite a few of you have asked me how I make money on the road, what job I have that allows me to travel, um, and just how I am financially able to travel. So I decided I wanted to answer that for you right now. Okay, ready, go. I don't want this to be a long video, but there are a lot of things that I can say about this topic. First of all, if travel is your main goal in life, if that's like the only thing that you want to do, if that's the only thing that you think will make you happy or that you feel like God is telling you to travel, then you need to do it. There are like three camps of making money while traveling. One is travel somewhere, live there, get a job, a few months later, quit and then leave, go to another place, get a job, quit, leave, go to another place, and just keep doing that. You can do that. Your employers might not love it, but there are also seasonal jobs, so it might actually not be that bad. I have actually done that. When I lived in Portland, I just moved to Portland, I got two jobs, and then when I wanted to move back to New York, I just quit the jobs and I went back to New York and I got a job in New York. So that is very possible. The other two are working online. One is if you have a product, you can sell it, sell your product. Whether it's a training course on how to pay less on your taxes or whether it's making ponchos for dogs, you can sell it online. If it's more making stuff, you can sell it on Etsy. And if it's more training or more teaching things, there are other websites for that as well. Or you can just make your own website and then learn how to be a marketer and go that route. I'm not gonna teach you how to do that in this video. I'm just gonna give you some ideas, but those are some. And then the other camp, which is stuff that I've done, more freelancey stuff. If you're a good writer or editor or videographer or photographer or things like that, you can either do freelance or some people will hire you full time to work online remotely. There are websites like Elance, like Odesk, like Craigslist. Craigslist is great, by the way, for finding jobs. I don't know if you guys agree, but I have always found great jobs on Craigslist. Even Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. Um, you sell something for five bucks, but you can kind of have like steps. So you can be like, oh, this is five bucks, but then this is 10 and this is 40. So how do you start with any of this? Basically, you find something that you love and you find something that you're good at, and then you figure out how to sell it. You either look at somebody else who's selling something similar and you try to follow their business model, or you just straight up be like, you know what, I'm really good at editing. So I'm gonna go on Craigslist and see what jobs there are for editing. Or I'm gonna go on Craigslist and put one of those like work for hire type things and be like, hey, I'm an editor. If you need me, hire me. I have found jobs from doing that on Craigslist. The same thing on Fiverr, the same thing on all those kind of freelance websites. But like I said, if you have more of a, an actual, like I like to make things product, like if you paint or if you crochet or if you do anything like that, go to Etsy, make an Etsy shop, make it really nice and make it look really, really professional and then learn how to market. Use Instagram to advertise. I have seen that. I follow quite a few people on Instagram who have Etsy shops and they use Instagram as one of their main forms of marketing. So I say all of that because you generally cannot have a typical nine to five job if you wanna travel. If you want travel to be kind of your main focus in life. But if you sell stuff on Etsy, if you find jobs on Craigslist, if you have a freelance job, if you have a remote job that lets you work on your laptop at Starbucks, wherever you are, those types of jobs allow you to travel. And here's the thing, a lot of people have told me that they are jealous of my life or that they wish that they could travel as much as I do. But if they really, 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 really wanted to, they would have found a way to do it. So if you are still stuck at home wishing that you can travel, it's either because it's too overwhelming for you to think of an idea of how, or because you don't really wanna do it. And that might be a harsh truth for some of you, and that might be mean of me to say, but it's not. If you really, 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 really want something, you will find a way to do it. And if it doesn't work the first time, that does not mean that you should give up. Keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. 
and you might have to try a different way. You might have to try a different avenue of maybe Etsy doesn't work for you. There's other things like Etsy that I don't really know, but there are. There's other places that you can sell your things. But if you're not willing to sacrifice, if you're not willing to really, really, really work hard and think differently than all of your friends and your family, then it's not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. So the moral of the story is find what you are really, really, really passionate about and then just do it. And I am sorry in advance for all the comments I get of, I've tried, I've tried, or my passion can't make me money, or all these negative things. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry to say this and to be so blunt, but it means that you don't want it hard enough. Enough? Hard it? It just means that you don't want it enough. It means you don't want it enough to sacrifice. That's, I mean, that's just it. Every single decision that you make needs to get you closer to that goal. That's the only way that you will actually reach the goal, really. Clearly, I can't work as a receptionist at this law firm and travel once a week. But if your goal is to work at the law firm, then that's awesome, then you did it. You are reaching your goal right now. But if your goal is to travel, you're really gonna have to change some things. And change is scary. And change is hard for a lot of people. It's not hard for me, I actually love change. But sometimes it gets overwhelming. Sometimes if too many things change at once or if things change when I'm not ready for them to change, it gets overwhelming. So I understand some people think, oh, well, when I'm ready, I'll do that. When I'm ready, I'll do that. But there is some quote somewhere I don't remember who said it. If I can find out, I'll put it down here. But the quote is, if you wait until you're ready, you're never gonna do it, which is so true. It's so true. You have to jump in head first at whatever you really, really want to do. And that's the only way you'll ever find out if you can do it or not. And the trick is, you can do it. If you fail the first time, if you fail the 50th time, that does not mean give up, okay? Seriously, I think wasn't it the light bulb that it took like 10,000 tries to get it right? Yeah, things get hard and things get confusing and difficult, but that does not mean give up. So whatever your goal is, just keep reaching for it. And if it's travel, keep watching my videos <laughs> or something. But seriously, if it's travel, there are ways that you can travel full time or sometimes or whatever. I mean, it can be as easy as marry a rich guy and work part time. There you go, there's my advice. Marry a baseball player. I had a dream last night that I got some baseball player to fall in love with me. So do that, marry a baseball player, and then just travel whatever you want. There, scratch the rest of it. Uh, that's stupid. Marry a rich guy. I think that's it. I don't even know if any of that made sense. I don't know if I really explained myself well, but the moral of this story is if your goal is to travel often, you just need to get a job that will allow that. And there are many jobs that allow you to work online. And there are also jobs that you can create, that you can own your own business, that you can sell things online, that you can do consulting work, that you can do freelance work. There are ways to live the life you want. You just have to figure them out. So do that, okay, 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 okay. Okay, glad we got that settled. Sorry that this video wasn't funny. Sorry if I sounded mean. If you did like this video and if you think that it gave you some ideas, uh, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, I put out videos every Tuesday and Friday. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later, bye.